Discord is a rather popular VoIP app that's used by everyone under the sun. But it's not perfect and can run into issues from time to time. My name is Yadullah, you are watching Candid.Technology and in this video we are talking about how to fix RTC connection issues in Discord. Now there are a bunch of reasons why Discord might suddenly stop working for you. The first solution is to restart Discord. For that, we'll right click the Windows button, head over to the task manager. Let's give it a second to open and let me sort the processes by name. All right, now that we're running, uh, just go ahead and close all of these Discord processes that you see here. So just select any of them and click the end task button. This is closed Discord. So now when you reopen Discord via the start menu or via any other option, it will uh, check for updates and start properly. And that should fix the error as Discord now is forced to reconnect to its servers. And as you can see, I am now in Discord and it seems to be working just fine. The next step is to check whether your internet connection is working and whether Discord servers are online. So as you can see, I am connected to the internet here. And if I open up a browser and run a speed test, yeah, I have enough internet bandwidth going on at the moment for Discord to run properly. So we will go to status.discord.com. And you can see that all systems are operational. Now we are only interested in this, the client section. And as you can see, desktop is running, iOS is running, Android is running, and the web app is running. So there are no faults from Discord side. Another problem that can cause the RTC not connecting issue is the quality of service high priority packets that Discord sends. Now to fix this, just open up Discord and uh, just click on this user settings button in here scroll all the way down to voice and video and now i'll scroll down and uh, you see this quality of service enable quality of service high pri high packet priority option uh, just disable it this uh, sometimes uh, this is used to tell routers that the packets coming from discord are high priority but uh, as the description says, some routers or ISPs may misbehave when this is set. So just disable it and check if that solves the problem. Another thing that can cause this problem is uh, debug logging within Discord. So once again, open up Discord and uh, let me just close the settings menu. In the user settings, go down to voice and video. Scroll all the way down and disable the debug logging option. This option can, uh, while this is supposed to save debug logs, this sometimes causes problems where Discord can't connect to its servers. So if you're facing problems like that, you can just disable this slider. All right, next up, your DNS problems or DNS configurations on your PC can also cause Discord to run into such issues. To fix those, we're going to press the Windows icon and search for command prompt. We'll run it as administrator, give it the permissions it needs. And now we're going to flush our DNS. So I will start off by typing in the first command, which is ipconfig slash flush DNS, press enter. All right, now we'll type in the next command, which is ipconfig slash register DNS, press enter, give it a moment to run. All right, okay, next up, we're going to type in ipconfig slash release. All of these commands will be available in the description below. All right, now that's run. Finally, we will type in ipconfig slash renew. Give it a moment to run. Yeah, as you can see, that command has run. And uh, finally, netsh winsock reset. Press enter. And you're going to have to restart your computer in order to finish the reset. So once you're done with all of these commands, just restart your PC and Discord should start working fine. 
If flushing your DNS cache didn't help you, you can try using a different DNS altogether. Now to do this, press Windows key once again and search for Control Panel. Uh, click this to open. Head over to Network and Sharing Center. Click Change Adapter Settings. In here, select the adapter that you're using. I'm using my Wi-Fi, so I'm just going to double click this. Head over to Properties. In here, select uh, Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. Once again, double click. And in the DNS section, click uh, check the use the following DNS server addresses option. Now, I'll have some free DNS provider options for you on the screen. And you can use either of them or you can use a DNS of your own choice. Once you're done, finalize the settings, click OK to save them, restart your PC or at least restart your router and then try again. If DNS settings weren't the cause of your problems, then it might just be Discord itself and it may be time to reinstall the app. Right click the Windows menu and click on Install Apps. This will show you a list of all apps that are currently installed on your PC, as you would guess. So let me just give this a second to load. And now if I go down the list, I should see Discord. Click these three buttons and click on uninstall. It will ask for a confirmation. Click uninstall again. And once Discord has been uninstalled completely, you can try, uh, go ahead and re-download the client to see if that works. Last but not least, if nothing else works, you can always use the Discord web app. So just open your browser and search for Discord or go to discord.com and click on open Discord in your browser click it and it will either ask you to log in or if you've already logged in it should just open up and that's how you can fix these problems in discord if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you want to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video